Hi Virgo, this is your weekend read for the 13th to the 15th of September. I am so sorry your reading has somehow got lost. Um, so big thank you to the Hermit Tarot 9 for letting me know that that has not come through and I don't know where it is. So I'm going to do a separate reading for you guys. Um, I just want to let you know that I am starting something new from this week. So uh, the sign who has the most likes on their video for that week will actually get a bonus read. So if you want to be involved in that, make sure that you like this video. And if you want to keep hanging out and getting messages, make sure that you subscribe to the channel but let's get started for Virgo 13th to the 15th of September love messages for the weekend okay Ooh. okay oh the three of swords in reverse good start so coming out of maybe a difficult period at the moment or that you've been going through recently Eight of Cups in the upright. Yeah, you're definitely moving on from this energy of um, loss or sadness, which is great news. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> I think that's you actually, Virgo. I think that you've decided not to keep offering, um, keep offering your time, energy, anything space to whatever this situation is because you, you're kind of over it now you've also got the knight of cups in reverse so again i think that that is actually tied to you rather than a separate person um, or it could be a water sign that you've kind of realized you know what they're not giving me anything so i'm going to give them the same thing let's take one more please <laughs> wow okay so and the king of swords in reverse I think that while you're making all these all this effort to kind of move forward um, and not invest your time in it anymore, there's still that emotional element. Um, it could also be an air sign that you're dealing with. Is a little bit of a vibe of that, um, and it's very possible that this air sign is just becoming a little bit. Um, agitated at you like there's a lot of they i think that they're a bit narcissistic it seems to pop up a lot in these readings lately all of you guys are dealing with narcissists stop doing that <laughs> let's get some more information it's the three of swords in reverse please Knight of Wands, yeah. So this is someone that kept making promises and not following through. They'd show up, promise you the world, then disappear again. Um, very all over the place kind of energy. You've got a lot of knights and kings on the table though. So very interesting, very strong, powerful kind of energy is going on. Can I have uh, another one for this Three of Swords in reverse, please? Yeah. Temperance in reverse. So it was a very imbalanced relationship. And I think this is where um, this, why this Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, because you were the one constantly trying to put in and give. And now you're, you're, got, you're tired. You're sick of this in and outness. And you're like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm walking away from all of this. And I am not trying to please you anymore. I'm not a people pleaser. It's the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> yeah you're not juggling this anymore you're not going to try and be exactly what this other person wants you to be all the time so that's your decision you're moving on from it um and i think that's great news okay uh nine of cups in reverse please i think this king of swords is definitely the other person that you're dealing with so yeah high priestess what's the king of swords yeah, you're releasing this person for sure. Mm. They could be someone that um, could be Capricorn, but is probably someone that you know that you deserve better um, and you kind of tolerate a lot of stuff. Yeah, they show, it, it's, they're showing up your vulnerabilities here or you could be dealing with a Leo as well. But I think that this is more... Um, they're sh you're showing 
they like they like to take advantage of your vulnerability and your good nature basically um and it was kind of putting you out of kilter you're not sure if you've done the right thing you're still in this uh you're still in that phase of yes i'm i'm good about this and then going back and going oh my god if i do it what if this is the wrong thing but let's get some more information on that part of it oh i just did that yeah but this battle is done and you're the one holding the swords here so yes you are doing the right thing um you're doing what's best for you that's that's what makes it the right thing so whether you stay go or whatever you have to do what's best for you um and at the moment whatever you are doing that's what's best for you so keep doing it how is Virgo feeling about all of this this weekend? Six of Cups. So yeah, although you are moving on, you're definitely um, thinking about the past a little bit, um, wondering if there's something different you could have done, you know, wishing that it was... Uh, not the way it is necessarily, but you're still in this acceptance phase. There is a little bit of anxiety attached to that, probably because this high priestess is in reverse and you're still not 100% certain that you're doing the right thing. You're not 100% comfortable with that, but you'll get there. How does the other person feel about all of this? <laughs> well, that's interesting. I think that it was a little bit unexpected for them because they've always been able to come and go as they please. And now this is probably something new that you've not really done before. Um, and now it's going to, if it hasn't created a tower in their life, it's going to. They, and that's again, this King of Swords in reverse, they don't like the word no and they're not used to that. So just be careful of that, Virgo. Another one, please. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, so they know they need to make a choice and it's now or never. Um, and this tower, for the first time, they know you mean business. They know that this really could be it for good. Um, and they know if they don't fix them themselves and fix their ways now, then there may be no way back for the two of you. So they're definitely, you've got them to sit up and take notice, Virgo, that's for sure. What's the most likely outcome for this weekend for Virgo, please? No, yes. Page of Swords. So a little bit of spying happening, could be you or them, keeping an eye on you. Still withholding communication, probably withholding that honest communication. Um, so someone's still not telling you what they think or feel. They, you guys might be in separation um, at the moment. It doesn't look like you're communicating, or if you are communicating, it's not positive communication. Uh, three of Pentacles. Again, Three of Pentacles in this deck is a little bit different. Normally it's a teamwork kind of card. In this deck, she's on her own um, and she's working on herself. It's not necessarily working with other people. It's working on herself. So I think you're probably going to be doing this weekend a lot of self-reflection and kind of getting to know yourself again so that you can get this high priestess back in the upright because that's like perfect state really. One more for the outcome, please. Ooh, and the world. Okay. I think either way, however it's been, is finished. So either the choice is made by the other person to let you keep getting on with your life and the cycle is closed, or the choice is made by the other person, oh shit, I need to actually change my wicked ways, get my life in order and fight for this person to come back. In which case, a new cycle is going to begin. But either way, the world card is telling me that this weekend, either the end of a bad cycle so that you can begin a new cycle or 
the end of a bad cycle so that you can be begin a whole new cycle with someone else or even with yourself. Okay, let's do some advice. I kind of feel like I wanted to take one more card, but we might take more than the advice. <clears throat> what advice is there for Virgo for the 13th to the 15th of September, please? Yeah, okay, Six of Swords in the upright. Keep doing what you're doing by moving on. Whether or not they are going to change is up to them. It's not something they're in control of. So you have to keep doing what's right for you. You have to keep sailing towards that smoother, calmer, happier place that you've got in your mind. But you also have to release those swords on the way. So toss them out of the boat. Toss all those negative thoughts and emotions out the boat. Another one, please. Okay. Probably be open to something new. Um, don't be defensive. Don't be guarded. Try and release your guard. Don't be stubborn. There's an element of stubbornness there. Don't be stubborn in the wrong way. Be stubborn in the fact that you're not going to let this person come in and take advantage of you again. But don't be stubborn for the sake of being stubborn. In this case, with the six, together with the sticks, blah, blah, together with the six, <laughs> it's sort of saying, uh, stick with what you're doing. Don't be easily turned about. Don't be easy. Don't easily let someone turn your boat back this way. So be strong with the direction that you're going in. Okay, Hierophant in reverse. Interesting. I'm going to take one more, please. Wow, wild world card in reverse. Okay. So if you do um, if you do turn your boat back and let this person win on their terms, not win, but get their own way on their terms without standing true to yourself and what you need and what's best for you then this this world card is not going to be on that upright and you're going to repeat exactly the same cycle with how it's been so my very real advice to you here is this is a turning point for you either you can keep going over the same lesson again or you can make some changes and the key is around this seven in reverse so you must be clear about what you want and you must do what's best for you and not give in to this other person and what they necessarily want because what they want is not necessarily best for you. They're acting out of some pretty strong emotions with the tower here. Um, there's a little bit of confusion because it is two, so they're a bit, what's going on here? I don't know, this isn't what I'm used to. Um, so you do you, that's my advice. Or universe will make you repeat the lesson and you won't get to this new cycle. So there's an opportunity for you this weekend to do, to do differently. Don't pick the wrong path. That's what it's sort of saying to me. All right, let's get some romance angel advice for Virgos. What advice have we got for Virgos for this weekend, please? romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so and that doesn't mean necessarily your feelings towards this person that may mean your feelings over this whole situation um what you're going through is uh important really and sometimes you're going to feel confused and sometimes you're going to feel like yeah i've got this and you know sometimes you might feel quite vulnerable and easily taken advantage of you need to own all those feelings at all the different points okay let's take one for the other person since they are towering and kind of see if we can get some insight uh, what advice have we got for the other person oh two came out very unusual for these cards <laughs> okay uh that almost never happens so they got Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and getting to know each other. So this is kind of a message for them to go 
free yourself from this past and get to know this person again. So I think that that's kind of why they're in this flux of, oh my God, I didn't expect this to ever end and how am I going to actually get back on top here? So interesting reading. Thanks so much, Virgo. Like I said, don't forget um, to like the video if you want the bonus read and uh, subscribe if you want to hear what's on for the weeklies. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.